is capitalism a good thing? I have a funny feeling that we're probably going to have a slightly different approach. But here's the thing, capitalism, for all its flaws, is still by far the best option. If you want to cure somebody of communism, expose them to real communism. And I was exposed to real communism when wow. I was younger and I went to Romania during Ceausescu's regime. And my father was a communist and we thought that Romania was a glowing example of uh, how the proletariat work. And it was an absolutely horrifying experience. OK, this is the big problem I see with a lot of people who are anti-communist. They always attach communism to these past societies or past regimes that failed. They have failed. The USSR was never socialist. It was never communist. You said That's that... That's the great lie. If you read any Marxist theory, any capitalist theory, you know it's trying to abolish statehood. Statehood can only be controlled by the economic liberty of the bourgeois. They can... <laughs> I would say anyone who used to be a communist and is not now either fell for reactionary messaging or was never a communist to begin with. You keep defining communism by its past. But that doesn't make sense. It never achieved itself. Well, maybe that's because it's inherently flawed. But it does, why is it flawed? Because it doesn't work. But why doesn't it work? Because of human nature. Because of human nature. Human nature doesn't exist. Like, what? what, where, what where what's, did you get it? <laughs> like, what's You like... should be in the Olympics because you've just taken a massive leap. We ended up going back over arguments that I was having with communists 20 years ago. And they were exactly the same arguments. And I think that shows how a lot of that communist ideal, it's just kind of, it's frozen in time. Are you patriotic? No. Are you? I always find patriotism baffling because it's almost like taking pride in the achievements of others and the history of what other people have, have managed to accrue. I don't wake up every morning and go, thank God I'm Irish. Um, but I'm not filled with sort of crippling self-loathing and liberal guilt either. Liberal guilt? What when does it that comes mean? To, liberal guilt is the kind of people in the West who believe that white Westerners are guilty of everything. But liberal guilt is one of the great achievements of the anti-Western brigade, actually, because it's made societies, actually. Who's the anti-Western brigade? Oh, for God's sake. I, I don't know what you're on about. Please explain. OK, look at, say, for example, critical race theory. Okay. I mean, I was only reading a piece today that uh, there's a council in Islington that wants to bring in anti-racism training for infants as young as five months. That's what you call liberal self-loathing. So it's a bad thing to teach kids not to be racist? No, it's a stupid thing to try and teach five-month-old babies not to be racist. But what's wrong with that? Because it's stupid. So because it's stupid to be anti-racist? No. Again, that is not what I said. It is stupid to try and teach a five-month-old about race. Look, the thing is, racism is far too important to absolutely trivialise it by this nonsense. I have no idea what you're on about. I'm not surprised. Are people too sensitive these days? I know, I don't think people are too sensitive nowadays. I mean, look at it this way, people deserve rights. In America, there's attack against transgender people. They are attacking LGBT rights. They are attacking workers' rights. I think what a lot of people conflate as freedom of speech and the right, what really they want is freedom from consequences. A lot of people talk about, oh, I, I, I'm being cancelled on Twitter by SJWs. No, you just get consequences of saying something dumb. Well, the consequences being cancelled, well, then they've been cancelled. I'm firmly of the belief that we should have the right to speak our mind without fear or favour. Actions, obviously, have consequences. Freedom of speech is even from freedom of platform. You can say whatever you want, you know? That's what you're doing right now, you're saying whatever you want. But that doesn't mean we should give them a platform to talk about whatever they want. So you matter. only want people you agree with to be given a platform? I don't want but fascist on TV. Why not? What good does it do? I'll tell you why. You drag them kicking and screaming into the public spotlight and you completely expose the fallacies and the bigotry and the, and the gibberish that they come out with. My belief in freedom of speech isn't freedom of speech for me, it's for you, and it's for other people that I don't agree with. Because once you start deciding that you can become the gatekeeper of who is allowed to hold acceptable opinions and who doesn't, then you're in serious trouble. Because the, the point of living in a free democracy is that the people I really disagree with, that they're the ones who are allowed to express the opinion. But anyway, do um, you think I could change your mind? Do you genuinely believe I can change my mind, no matter what I say? I change my mind all the time. Okay, okay. 
I'm actually very open-minded. Like, if I'd come across an argument that's better than the argument I hold, you'd have to be pretty stupid to ignore that valid point. But I mean, you know, I mean, knock yourself out. I mean, we have all night, you know. In a free society, you should be allowed to freely express your opinion, as long as you're not inciting crime, as long as you're not breaking the laws of the land. And we now seem to live in a world where if you don't agree 100% with the new zealots, that automatically you're a fascist. But this is what happens when you only have people who agree with each other talking to each other.